In the last segment, we introduced the notion of soundness, and now we'll delve a little deeper into this very important concept. Remember, just because an argument is valid, that doesn't mean that we need to accept it. Validity is an important criterion, but it's not the only one. Once we have determined that an argument is valid, we have to determine whether its premises are also true, which is the second major criterion. If an argument's premises are true and it has a valid form, then we say that the argument is sound. So we have two basic conditions for argumentative soundness. First, a valid form. Second, true premises. Keep in mind that all the premises in a deduction must be true for it to be considered to be sound, and only arguments with a valid form, and that is to say deductive inferences, can be candidates for sound arguments. Let's sum up. First, an argument is sound if and only if it is valid and all its premises are true. Second, an argument is unsound if it lacks either validity or true premises or both. Third, unsoundness is a reason to reject an argument even if it's valid. Fourth, the conclusion of a sound argument is true. And last, given number four, a sound argument's conclusion can't be rejected without falsity. Let's take a look at this argument. Horses have four legs. Felix has four legs. So Felix is a horse. It is possible that for all these premises to be true, but there's a problem with the argument's form. It's invalid. It's entirely possible that Felix is a cat, which would make the conclusion false. Remember, there are always two indispensable conditions for soundness, validity and true premises. Here's a diagram that illustrates what we've been saying about deduction. Study it for a couple of seconds. Now look at the unsound branch. Unsound arguments fail due to one or more of three factors. They're either invalid, or they have at least one false premise, or they're really off. That is, they're both invalid and contain at least one false premise. One technical note. Some logicians wouldn't consider an argument with an invalid form to be a deduction at all, since the very definition of deduction entails validity. Here's an important note to consider when we're considering the cash value of soundness. If the premises of an argument are false, then the argument can never be sound and we have to reject it. However, we might be able to accept an argument that is unsound due to its lack of valid form. In fact, no inductive argument can be considered invalid, excuse me, can be considered valid, and yet we accept many of them. But note one thing, we would never say that such an argument is sound. Only valid inferences, that is to say, deductions with true premises can be considered to be sound. This concludes segment nine. Please continue to segment 10.